So what's up YouTube, Alien Rights here, and today we have an exciting interview with Gal, the CEO of Ryan Motors, and Sophia, who does a lot of awesome stuff with scooters, e-skate, everything. And we're gonna talk about two new models, the RE70 and the RE90. So subscribe, and let's not ride, but let's talk instead. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get into it. So we've got two new models. We've got the RE70 and the RE90. From the outside, they look, they look the same thing, but inside is totally different. Yep. Um, so the RE70, what's what's new about the RE70? So the RE70 is actually a um, collaboration between uh, Lacroix and Ryan. Um, it's a system that they developed, um, which is amazing. It's called Stormcore Dual 100 and Sophia was also part of the creation. Um, so Lacroix is like the parallel of Ryan in his skates. They're the, the only hyper skate company, hyper e skate company out there. And they're amazing, Alex and Charles and Jeff, great team. And um, we're using one, um, one unit, one controller, to actually um, power both of the motors and then it's the first time that we're actually opening up the programming and parameter settings to the user or to the rider so each one can set up to his own Ryan um, you know through a laptop and then can can do traction control can can do 60% on the rear wheel and 40% on the front wheel um, e-braking if he wants and basically every parameter that he wants and then he has the app um, on the front end so we see all the all the telemetry and every possible information but that's basically the first time that any school company is opening um, the option to program or you know to personally adjust the scooter um, to the rider I think Sophia can um, Elaborate. Yeah, so Sabine, you worked on the app quite a bit, right? Yes, I did. And basically, what I mean, there's like a multitude of things you can do with uh, the Stormcore paired with the app. So, for example, we have um, built-in like ride tracking with statistics on like every single um, uh, ride tracking point. Uh, just automatically built-in. You don't have to do anything for it. Um, you can connect to your Ryan, and you can see your battery levels, your voltage, um, the current uh, mechanical RPMs of your each wheel, like what it's running at, um, your power distribution across both wheels, um, how much their motor is you know, burning through the current. Just basically every single statistic that you would want, you can be able to see. And you can see it you know, in your previous rides at every single GPS location. So you have all this telemetry displayed in a cell phone app. Yes. And then you can just mount your cell phone app on the handlebars so you just you can see it as you're riding. Yes. So you don't really need like one of the speedometers that'll have the scooter ship with to just ride in your cell phone. So cool. So we've got new controller, um, the Stormcore, and we've got a new battery also? Yes. We have um, 20S6P, 21700 with around, I would say, easily 45 amps discharge per cell, which is quite crazy. Yeah, be awesome. it's, that's per cell, yeah. and there is six cells per group, and there's 20 groups, yeah. and that's in a pack. So that's like an insane amount of current that this thing can be capable of driving. Yeah, and also consume, consuming wise, it's very, it's very efficient in terms of um, comparing to other controllers. The efficiency of the Storm Core is much better than ordinary BLDC controllers or yeah. Anything out there. Especially since you can, uh, this controller is not just like, well, first of all, the motors in the Ryans are censored. So there's no extra power wasted on uh, like running extra current through the motor to see where the motor is and they have to spin up the motor. Like you, the, the controller knows where the motor is, it spins up the motor exactly like how it should be spun up. Um, and it's it's uh, running FOC, right? F O C. Yeah. Um, uh, motor control algorithms, so it's a lot smoother than BLDC uh, controllers. You know, you're 
when you're spinning up the motor, it doesn't like jerk you or anything. It's like really smooth power delivery, and I think that's like a huge improvement over any other scooter on the market. And it's it's like that big. Oh, it's and, also and tiny. Flat and one controller, which is amazing, fits the carbon fiber enclosure perfectly. So it's pretty cool. I mean, we're, we're very excited about that. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get into the Stone Corn, I think. All right, so let's look at the app. So we're gonna check out the Stormcore app now. So basically uh, how this works is you launch the app. It auto connects to your Rion. And as you can see, it shows uh, some statistics here like temperature, uh, battery, your actual battery voltage. Um, this will show how much watt hours per mile you're actually burning. Um, and then this is like your firmware. And then this will show any like if there's any issues or whatever that you should be aware of, um, this will tell you. You can start your ride right here. So if you start this ride, uh, this will start recording your speed, your temperature, your voltage, um, your input and output currents to like the motor and like from the battery and everything, um, how many RPMs you're running, anything like that. And this will, sh this will put it into a ride that you can see here. Um, and it'll also have like a map and charts and stuff so you can easily go back and look at your Previous rides we can mount the phone on the handlebars, right? Yeah, so we can just go ahead and mount this here And as you can see everything is uh, still being recorded on here um, If we start a ride this will start recording under rides And we can just go back and stop it so if you can look at a previous ride, here we have a ride that we previously recorded. Um, this was just around San Francisco. So you can see sort of like the loop that I did here. And down here you can see the charts. Like you can see that the temperature and the current and the duty cycle that you're running at. Um, your various speeds, like your actual speed and like your GPS speed. The voltage of the battery. Um, and you can actually zoom in here and look at the specific data points. So if you tap, you can see like how ex how much current exactly you're pulling. Wow, very cool. So it's super detailed, you know, super rider oriented. If you're really into that kind of stuff, you're really gonna like this. This app also acts as like a live uh, dashboard of sorts, like exactly how you would have in like a car. So if you sp actually spin up the motor, you can see that the uh, speed increasing when you spin it up. It's crazy. I think I got it sawed up to go up to like 75 or so. Yeah, I mean, this is actually at 74% battery, so if you charge it to full, this will go faster. But you can see it's currently at 75 miles per hour. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah, with all these upgrades, Ryan is almost turning into a technology company more than just a scooter company. Um, they're using these really advanced controllers, uh, really advanced battery packs. Uh, some of the features are just really cool. Um, so you said last year was all about racing and performance, and now it's about the technology and moving the technology forward. So this is the RE70 here, and this is an upgrade over the RE60. Is that correct? That's, that's like a mid version between the RE60 and the RE90, okay. uh, which is the new, the new um, top model that we have. We're um, stopping the production of the RE80, which um, was amazing and you know, was top of the line for 2019. And then the RE90 is the new creation, yeah. the new hyper scooter. Um, Awesome. And we still have, it's still a modular platform, right? So if you yeah. have the RE60 today, you can potentially upgrade to the RE70 right. and beyond. Right. Very cool. And the RE80 users can upgrade to the RE90. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So let's let's talk about the RE90 because this is super exciting. So this is the new fastest Ryan model that's available to the typical consumer. Yeah. So um, this is a 96.6 .6 volt machine with 30 amps an hour battery which would probably, you know, we're still doing tests, but would probably take you a full range of around 60 miles per charge if you're riding normally. Well, hold up. Yeah. 96 volt battery, yeah. 30 amp hours. Yeah. How many, how many watt hours is that? That's a lot. 
That's about, that's 2,400. Okay, so we've got a 96 volt battery, 30 amp hours. It amounts to about 2,400 watt hours at nominal load and 2,800 at peak, which is just an insane amount of watt hours. It's more than double the RE60. Um, and so you've done a lot of work on this battery pack to increase the range. Yeah, we did an amazing battery. Um, we actually used the local team from San Francisco that um, designed and built this battery from scratch. And then we also designed a new crazy controller um, that shoots out 400 amps per phase, which is, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's 1,200 amps per controller and we're using two of these. So um, we're not getting there, but theoretically this thing can shoot around 110,000 watts. That's insane. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a 100 miles per hour machine for sure. Maybe more. 100 miles an hour on the scooter. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm gonna try it. I'm not, I don't wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> but you're you're getting an RE90. Yeah, uh, you well, you know, it gotta, gotta have the best, really. You gotta have the best, but you yeah. don't have to use it all. Well, I mean, I would say I wouldn't use everything, but we'll see, we'll see. Nice. So you said, okay, so the battery packs are made in America, they're made here, uh, and you have a team building batteries. You should say they're local artisanal batteries. <laughs> yes, local artisanal Organic. batteries. Organic battery packs, Organic. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight from the orchard. Um, so along with this awesome battery pack, the round's gonna ship with a new charger, and this is one of the best chargers I've ever seen. It's a cycle satiator. Um, so why did you pick this charger? So it's, um, it's a great charger from Green Technologies, and we can actually set up some profiles here so we can start charging slowly and then um, ramp up the the charging um, the charging rate, the charging amps um, from three to six and then ramping down. It's a great balance. We can see all the telemetry, how many cycles and um, every possible. And we can also um, connect to a PC and um, reprogram. We can set the voltage. If you have a scooter or e-bike or um, skateboard, you can actually set the voltage for each one. And then you can use one charger for all the all the devices. So yeah, it's um, it's an amazing one. It's an amazing charger that has no fan, so there is no noise. Yeah, that's the coolest thing about this charger. A lot of chargers at these bolts will be very loud because there's a lot of fans going on. They're, they're quite noisy, but this thing is just totally silent. It's awesome. Pretty small too, also. Pretty easy to put in a backpack. So some other features about the Ryons that they've maintained, which is really cool, is this really cool folding mechanism. So this is pretty unique to Ryan, right? I've never seen yeah, that in another it's our, it's our folding mechanism. It's pretty, pretty easy and fast, so. Yeah. And it's super stable also, like I've written yeah. these a number of times and there's no play at all. Yeah. Which is pretty either. impressive. Yeah. I will say I've, I've done one for the better part of like a year or so. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no problem with the mechanism. Mm -hmm. Whereas like I had a Speedway 5 and it was like you could rock it and it was, no. Yeah. Have I, you ever gotten speed wobble on a run? No, never. So like, this thing yeah. is so stable. You're, I've, I've hit like around 70 or so and this thing just plants itself on the ground, there's like no wobble yeah. at all. Yeah, and also there is there is like common common thing. We know that the run are not waterproof and basically 99% like of the schools are not waterproof and you can find like videos online of rusted engines, rusted models all over. So um, beside water, I mean, people think that the run is race only machine and it's, it's, far from, it's far from reality because it's a great commuter. We, you know, we're riding it every day. You can ride it normally. It has, it has a nice suspension. The carbon fiber is, is, is kind of a elastomeric suspension, um, and it's pretty comfortable. People think that there is no front suspension. It's going to be really stiff and not fun for, you know, for daily ride. But it's, um, it's, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, you, you rode it, and Sophia is riding it on. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're beautiful machines. I would love to commute on one of these. It'd just be like, you can't commute on a better machine, really. Hi. Basically, Hello. there, yeah, it's, I mean. <laughs> on the RE90, there's also a new set of brakes. Um, we don't have them here today, but we're gonna have the MT7SL, is that right? Yeah. And so these are, but they're fully carbon fiber? The, the, old, the old lever part is carbon fiber, the, the piston and the caliper is the same. Okay. But um, yeah, the top so, part, completely changes. So, uh, gonna be a very beautiful lever, it's gonna be carbon fiber, 
maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah. Um, but top of the line Maguro brakes. Yeah. Super excited for those. So in the past, Ryan used to use the Shimano brakes. Yeah. Um, and you you are the Ryan with the Shimano brakes. Yes. Um, did you notice a difference when they upgraded to Maguro's? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, in, in my humble opinion, I think that Maguro's are just way firmer. Like when you when you squeeze the brakes, it's not it doesn't taste a lot of pressure mm -hmm. to actually stop you, and the stopping power is incredible. Very cool. Yeah, and like a better modulation. It's it's it's, it's a really there's a huge difference between Magua and Shimano um, on this machine, especially. Yeah. But the coolest part of the McGurr brakes is obviously these little rings here that you can customize and change the color of those rings, right? That's, that's a cool feature, but also what's pretty, really pretty smart is that Magura is, um, they, sell, they sell the system by once. So you can actually use the same lever part um, on the right side or the left side. So you can just switch it, on the, it's, it's similar on the same side, so you mm -hmm. switch it and then you can use, um, you can set up if you want the rear brake to be on the left or on the right um, side, oh, yeah. you can do it by yourself in five minutes, which is in Shimano you need to take it apart and you need to bleed it and to switch the lines. So yeah. this is a really smart smart engineering um, from Maguro over there. Right, so you can you can change the lever. Yeah. Sorry. But by default you ship now with the left one being the rear. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. All right guys, that's all we got for now. Um, thanks so much for joining us on this announcement for these two awesome scooters. We're gonna get some ride footage soon and that should be really cool. So we'll see you all next time.